Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool. And with all the advances in technology, nothing I think is more important than the ability to sense things. Things that a human on its own can't sense. And I tend to divide sensors into those that save your life and those that save your money. So for instance, here is a Top Test CT580. This is a carbon monoxide detector. Again, save your life. Here is a Vernier Go, Go Direct radiation monitor. And this one Bluetooth to my phone. And yeah, it actually does, in fact, detect radiation, but hopefully on a small scale, not necessarily something large. But I'd put that in the uh, save your life area. But in the save you money area, how about this? This is a new Top Test RT389 refrigerant sensor. Now, it detects refrigerants down to about the loss of three grams per year. It's a way of kind of measuring how much, um, how much refrigerant is, is seeping out through the system. And for example, an average refrigerator maybe, uh, contains between 40 and 50 grams of refrigerant. So that's a pretty good sensor. So we'll take a closer look at this thing. What does it detect? Well, the handful of usual suspects, including things like, uh, HCFs, HCFCs, CFCs, PFCs, HFO1234YFs, R717s, HC blends, and anything within that usual range of, of different kinds of refrigerants or chemicals. So this has got a gooseneck, so you can easily get it into places that maybe you can't get a conventional sensor, especially a sh uh, shorter uh, head sensor. And when we turn it on, it goes through a handful of different, um, quite effective um, self-tests, which is important if you have an actual sensor, not just something you turn on and suddenly it blinks and says, hey, I, I sense that. So what we've got, it's turned on, it's going to go through, I'll, I'll give you a chance. Uh, it's testing these, a buzzer, 90 decibels vibrates. I mean, if there's a problem, it wants you to notice. So you can go into the system settings. There are other settings advanced. You need the code to get into that, information about the thing, um, and of course, back here. So it is looking for a refrigerant. That's what the sensor does. So it's testing this. You can set the date. Uh, you can see I've got it for August 29th, 2025. So what do we have here? Well, here is an example of this thing going off. So I just put this in the presence of some refrigerant. It fired up, removed it to fresh air. That's what happens. And what this allows you to do is test old refrigerators, car ref or car air conditioners, um, HVAC units, all kinds of different things. It sells for a little over a hundred bucks. I mean, think about that. If you called a professional out to try to find a leak or if there was a leak, boom, hundreds of dollars. This will give you a head start. Maybe you can work on it yourself. Maybe you can identify the problem and skip the middleman. So the top test testers are essential components of any DIY kit, any professional kit, and in fact, probably the future since we're going pretty much digital with about everything. Uh, here are some examples of this thing in use. Uh, this is one where I'm looking for a refrigerant leak. Uh, if I can detect it around a freezer in a basement of a friend's house, just thinking, wow, this, this thing is not freezing. By the way, here is a little tip. Uh, in the old days, in order to know if something maintained its frozen state, what would happen is you'd get a glass, you'd fill it with water, you'd freeze it. So it's got a block of ice in it, and then you'd put a weight on top of it. It could be a rock, could be a quarter, could be anything that is denser than water. And then what that does is it drops down into the cup if it melts. Of course, it can refreeze, but if that object is at the bottom of the cup instead of the top of the cup, it tells you right away something's wrong. Um, the top test sensor also has a flashlight on it. If I turn that on, you can see it lights up because sometimes we are not working in really bright environments, especially behind a refrigerator. And to think about this in a bigger scale, um, the different sensors also give you 
kind of like superpowers when you're working on things. If you can find a leak in your car's uh, AC, you can fix the leak, you know, recharge the AC. You just saved yourselves could be as much as a thousand dollars, which is pretty wild. And of course, you can use something like this, uh, you know, inside with your uh, AC units, with your refrigerator, outside with your vehicles. I'm um, just simply, it's it's super versatile. All you got to do is get this little sensor somewhere near where there might be a loss of refrigerant, and you're good to go. So cool on top tests for continuing to provide all kinds of unique sensors that literally pay for themselves potentially with one use. So there it is, the Top Test RT389 refrigerant sensor. Let me know your thoughts and uses. And with that, Doc out.